Okay, it's August 5th. It's on Sunday. It's a little bit hazy out here. I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be videotaping a cell phone call, hopefully, with Daryl Flores. He's fighting in Rage in the Cage 5 on August 21st at the Idaho Center in Nampa. And I'm going to see if we can ask him some questions on how it's going. So bear with me and let's let's give Daryl a call. Daryl, how's it going? Pretty good, man. How you doing? Good. Hey, I was wondering if I could ask you some questions about your upcoming uh, fight. Yeah. About your upcoming fight. Are you there? Yep, yep I'm here. So, uh, where are you at? Uh, I'm in Albuquerque. Albuquerque. So you're down there doing some training? Yeah, that's my, uh, that's my training camp down here in Albuquerque right now. Perfect. Some good old altitude training in. Well, that's great. Well, you've got a fight coming up August 21st, and I just wanted to ask you some questions. Um, after suffering your first loss in your MMA career, what, uh, what do you want to prove to yourself and your fans? <clears throat> well, uh, uh, that loss was the most important fight of my career. You know, um, you don't know what kind of a person you are, what kind of a fighter you are, unless you lose and you come back and win. So I want to prove to myself and to my fans that, you know, I'm here and that uh, this is what I want to do. So uh, basically, you know, training harder and taking it more seriously is, is where I'm at right now. So. Perfect. Well, your next opponent is Ray Pickett on August 21st at Rage in the Cage 5. What do you know about him, and how has your training changed? Well, um, I know that he's, uh, he's made of granite. You know, he's a tough guy. Uh, he's going to be really tough to beat. He has excellent stand-up. Uh, his wrestling's pretty, pretty dang good, so it's probably going to be my, the toughest fight of my career. This is going to be the toughest fight of my career, considering, you know, I'm coming off of a loss, so it's playing with my emotions a little bit, uh, as well as, you know, the guy is, he's, he's tough, man, he's made of nails, so. What, what do you think? Gotta, um, in my training, my training is a lot different, I'm training with a lot better guys, training with a lot of King of the Cage guys down here in Albuquerque, um, you know, training a lot, two, three times a day even, um, sparring a lot, um, making, making my body hurt now so that I don't hurt in the fight. What do you think will happen in the fight? Um, I think a lot of stand-up. Um, I don't. I don't think it'll go to the ground very much. If it does go to the ground, it's, it'll be a tough, uh, a tough place for either of, of us to be, considering my my uh, grappling, his you know tight wrestling, and uh, his his kickboxing and my my traditional boxing. It, it'll be a good fight. I'm training with a lot of kickboxers now, so. Um, getting ready for for his uh, his very pressuring kicks and and uh, and good Muay Thai. So it'll it'll go it'll I think it'll stay standing um, virtually the whole round the whole match. So well, great. You know, just to get away from uh, the fighting aspect of it, how has family and friends played into your success as a fighter? Oh, it's huge. It is. It's gigantic. Um, one of the biggest things is, you know, I just had my, my daughter. She turns 22 months today. Wow. Um, Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Uh, you know, I, I've missed her a lot uh, through, through this training camp, my family, my mom and dad, um, my girlfriend, who's very <clears throat> very supportive, uh, getting choked up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. My is very supportive. You know, she, her and I talk. I call her every day. Um she lets me know that she's got my back. You know, and I talk to my daughter every chance I get. I know she loves me. She leaves me voicemails and stuff. And uh, you know, it's 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 very important to have a to have a family support backing you uh, when you're doing something like this because doing it alone is all is hard enough. You know, 
you were right. by yourself leaving your family and with, with no one there to, to have your back, it's even harder. So um, it's it's the biggest thing to have support from your family and your friends and, and the people that you love. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Well, what are your plans as an MMA fighter? What do you want to do with uh, this sport? Well, um, I am uh, I'm 22 years old, so uh, virtually in the sport, I'm, I'm pretty young, pretty dang young. Um, you know, just just got got my feet wet. Really, uh, turning pro was was a really good decision, and uh, <clears throat> I think I think with the loss to uh, to Kerry Latimer, who's a, a stud guy. Really, uh, really good person. Um, with my first loss to Kerry Latimer, um, you know, coming coming so quickly, I, I think that the only way to go is up. You know, I've already I've already hit the MMA rock bottom. I, I feel like you know losing losing your first fight is always the hardest. Right. Well, what do you want to tell your fans about your upcoming fight against Ray Pickett on August 21st at Rage in the Cage Five? I think that they should come because it's going to be a bang. Um, not only is is me and Ray going to put on a, a pretty decent show, an excellent show, as a matter of fact. Um, you know, you have excellent guys from Idaho. You have you know Colton Vaughn, um, John Kimball, and, and Jesse Brock uh, all stepping in the cage, um, ready to ready to bang, ready to to uh, throw down. So I I say come come and watch and and uh, be excited about it because it's going to be an excellent card. Well, super, Daryl. Well, hey, I know your training's, you know, most important right now. Get back to your training. Have a have a great uh, trip back, and we'll see you when you get back to Idaho. Awesome. Thanks, Doug. Take oh, care, man. Okay. Thanks, Daryl. Bye. Bye.